This is a new to me store. I've tried going here a few times, but they were on their lunch break or closed completely every single time. So I'm so glad that I got to go today. I forgot why I didn't get this tea set because I really like these kinds of sets and they were so beautiful, but I think some of the copper had oxidized. There was something with it. I'm looking for a very specific cake platter for myself and I was convinced I would find it today, but I didn't. <laughs> I just started looking more at drinking glasses and I loved these colorful ones. When I saw the Made in Italy sticker, I was so happy. I got the set of four vintage and poly glasses, of course. They are in perfect condition still. Those candlestick holders always suck me in for some reason. This one still has its candle inside, which is really neat. And it's speckled. I'm thrifting in Germany today and I actually um, didn't want to film. That wasn't the original intent because I always find those days of thrifting to be very long and the editing is kind of long sometimes and I've been so busy lately. But I can't help it, I just love filming on a third day, I don't know, I like watching it back myself. And a lot of you guys like to watch it as well. So I am filming today, I just left the first thrift store I went to and it was the first time I was here, I didn't find a lot, I found like 5 things, but, but I was really happy with those things. And next to everything I found, I was also gifted some tulips by the thrift store which is so sweet and I'm now heading to another city that store I have been to before but it was really good so I hope it's gonna be just as good this time and I will see you there I kind of like this wall sconce candlestick holder. It's not vintage, but I thought it might be nice for our outside backyard. Then I remembered that I live in the windy Netherlands and I was like, never mind. Then I turned around and wait a minute, what is this? A West Germany wall tile? No way. It did have a small chip on one of the corners, but I honestly don't care. It's so stunning. Then I noticed this painting and if you know me, you know that I'm a sucker for dark moody florals. The painting itself was beautiful, but it's framed terribly. Look, look at this. Anyhow, I decided to get it anyways. They have so, so many amazing brown and neutral laces here, but I've recently been on a color mission, so I didn't get any of them this time. Since about six months, I have loved picking up these bisque vases. I think they were so gorgeous and this is probably my most favorite one I've found so far. Typically, I don't pick up a lot of animal figurines and statues, but this dog was so cool looking and I love that it's all black. So this one needed to come home with me. This is, I think, the first time I've ever picked up a decanter, but this one has all hand-painted frills on it and it came with its original stopper. These are kind of cool, but I wonder what you would use them for. Mm -hmm. 
I didn't pick up any of these vases and maybe I should have, but I held out for some more unique items that day. Mugs are something I don't typically pick up, but at 50 cents a piece, I just couldn't leave behind the set of Italian Majolica mugs that were still in beautiful condition. I'm back home and I brought so many amazing goodies with me. I am so stoked with everything that I found. We're gonna dive right in. At the first store, I found this really cute little lady. She is a ceramic flower girl. And I just felt like she was really well made. I didn't know a lot about her. Oh, and by the way, they didn't have any prices there at that store. So I paid five euros for everything I'm gonna show you. And I found out actually now, um, I did some research that very likely she is by Elboge, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, which is a Swedish brand and she's a Swedish flower girl. They actually make quite a lot of them. And she's really cute. She's adorable. I really like her and she's still in really perfect condition. I probably paid like, one euro 25 for her next up i got these two candlestick holders they don't look like much but they are vintage west german glass they are also marked made in west germany on the bottom and i really like this kind of bubbly texture they have going on there i always feel like that is really really beautiful i also think that they're gonna look amazing with some really nice colored candles in them this is another candlestick holder i found it's just basic kind of brownish powdery I know I said I didn't want to pick up any brown things, but I I very much restrained myself. So, <laughs> but this one, I definitely had to come home with me. I love buying candlestick holders. And I also really like these brown ones. This one is probably Studio Pottery Piece. It's marked CT. So I'm not sure who made this, but I feel like it's pretty well made. It's speckled pottery. These last items are probably the most exciting find of the first store. And it's the set of four colored glasses. They are Italian and poly glass. They still all have, I think all of them, yes, have their Made in Italy original sticker on it and they're beautiful. This one is kind of a smoky color. Then you have the blue, the green, and this yellowish amber color tint. And they look nice. I still have to do research on them for like how much they go for because I don't usually sell a lot of drinking glasses, but I felt like these were really unique and nice. And that's why I got them. I mean, I paid 125 for them, so. Moving on to store number two, I firstly ventured into the art section there. That was actually a store I had been to before and I filmed there before I and mean, I filmed there again because I do really like the store and I found this amazing dark floral painting. I love dark floral wall art as some of you might know if you've been watching my older videos and uh, this one was no exception. It was I think like three euros, 3.50. It was 3.50 and it is painted. I think I'm not sure if it was oil paint. I don't really know a lot about it different types of paint. Um, I feel like it's not because it's not textured enough, so maybe it's acrylic or something. And then all that little frames I have to say, it's just like taped in here, so that is not so great. But still, I really, really like the motive. I like the florals. Um, it's also signed, it's like touched up or something like that. So um, yeah, that one is gonna go into my booth. Dark florals have been going really well in my booth. Um, I currently have one embroidery piece in there. So once that is sold, I'm probably gonna put this one in there. Another thing I found in the wall art section was this amazing West German wall tile. It is by Ogosha and uh, Ogosha is very, very well known for their wall tiles. This one I'm very likely gonna keep for myself. I still have a lot of space in my house to put stuff up on the walls. I've kind of decluttered a lot, or well, not decluttered, but sold a lot of my things, kind of changing up things a little bit. And I've been loving all those wall tiles and wall plates so much, and this one is no exception, it's kind of heavy. <laughs> um, this one was $6.50, which is an amazing price. I feel like, yeah, it does have a couple chips here, and um, that's not a big problem for me, though. You can't really see it. It is so beautiful, and it is heavy. I'm gonna put it down now. <laughs> and I don't pick up a lot of dishes, but I had to make an exception for these. These are some really amazing Bavaria Mitterteich um, 
porcelain items and they were so cool and so 70s and I especially love this coffee pot. At first I thought they were set but the florals on these are a little bit different as are the colors but they are by the same brand but I feel like they belong to different series but that is okay. So I got this coffee pot and this bowl. They were $3.50 each. I got 10 of these beautiful Majolica mugs and I am 99.9% .9 certain that at one point they had like this big pot that goes with them, kind of like a punch bowl with a lid. But unfortunately that wasn't there, but I don't know, I just couldn't leave those behind. They were definitely all handmade and hand painted because the flowers, I'm kind of looking at all of them because I, as I said, I have 10 there. Um, the flowers are a little bit different on each of them as um, in the coloring, so you can definitely see that they're all handmade. Marked Italy, so I hope I'll be able to find out who made them. I'm not very familiar with Italian pottery. I must you know my things when it comes to German pottery, so that's a little bit new for me. But I did really like them, and they were 50 cents a piece, so I got 10 for 5 euros, which I feel is a really great deal. I still have to decide whether I'm going to sell them individually or as a whole set. I got this one, and this is a little speckled one, and I'm gonna definitely put it in my booth for a few euros. It has strawberries on it and then this basket with strawberries next to them and with and a pair of scissors so that someone is harvesting the strawberries and it says wild strawberry next to it which I thought was cute and for 50 cents I thought like I can't do anything wrong. I got another candlestick holder but this one is a lot more colorful than the other ones I showed you. It's this bright orange. It looks kind of very folk art-ish to me and it does not look West German to me at all. It looks more Eastern European, correct me if I'm wrong. It was 150 and I felt like this was a really ni nice price for it. It's well made, it's hand painted and I just thought it was really cute, especially now for the springtime and or maybe just generally somebody who has a really brightly colored home. I felt like this would be really perfect. And I found another wall tile there. This is amazing. This one was 350. It's the rising sun and it has all the sunbursts on and it's just beautiful. And this whole part, which kind of looks like a hill landscape, is all flat lava, as is kind of the, the rim around the edge. It's so nice. I'm pretty sure that this one is not Osha because it doesn't look like their typical style. But um, it might be. I still have to do some more research on it. Maybe I'm not going to be able to find out who made it. It's not marked at all. I usually don't buy decanters, but I just couldn't leave this one behind. It is so stunning. It still has its original stopper and it fits perfectly in there. And I mean, it's also the same color as this. So I was pretty certain that this is the original one. And um, this one I already peeled off. The oh no, the price still on there. It's $2.50. And it has the most stunning florals on there. It's so beautiful. Like I'm really in the spring mood right now. It's the beginning of March and I'm just ready. I'm ready for spring to start. I'm ready for the tulips to come. I mean, I live in the Netherlands, so mind you, I'm waiting for the tulips to come up. This just really gives me all the spring feelings. I got this black dog and I've never ever um, picked up anything like this before, but I thought he was so cool. He's just this very regal looking I don't know what he is, you tell me, it's like a cocker spaniel or whatever, I'm not really sure, maybe you know, I don't know all the like types of dogs, um, but for 5 euros I felt like I could do anything wrong, he's definitely vintage and he's just so cool looking and he liked, I like that he was just all black, look at him. As a lot of you who've been watching my channel know, I don't pick up a lot of white like porcelain, but this vase is definitely an exception, this is by KPM, which is Bavarian porcelain, and it is really cool because it is just this like standard porcelain here but on the back and front it has a really a bisque glaze or a bisque it's bisque porcelain that's probably a better wording <laughs> and um it is only marked 7 for 1-2 so i had to do a little bit of research but it is kpm it was 350 and i really like this this is another amazing wall plate i found this one i will be selling i am quite certain that this is osha i think that this one is also not marked i have to do some research if it's not osha i'm gonna put it up here but i'm pretty sure it is it looks very much like something they would made and it has stunning florals on here like a lot of their pieces do this one was a 450. the last piece i found at the second store is this absolutely stunning mouth blown glass vase thank goodness it still has its original <laughs> sticker it's actually german and it says Waldglashütte Bodenmais, which I've never heard of before, but there were so many um, companies that were making mouthblown glass back in the day that I'm still gonna have to do some research on it, but I did see right away that this is a really good quality piece. I mean, the opening, it, it has kind of like those little ruffles, or not ruffles, but those little, um, 
can't really think of the word right now, but those kind of lines here, and it has controlled bubbles here on the bottom. And the swirls are really nice because they have this really almost pastel red color, and there is also some pastel pink in there. I think this is stunning, especially now for spring rolling around. Moving on to the store in number three, that is the store where I did not film. I've actually filmed there before. It's a really nice store. I found some really cool items there as well. So we're going to start off with the vases. I actually only got two vases there, which is kind of surprising for me, but I was strict. There are a couple brown vases, but I did leave them because right now, as I said, I've been going for more color. The first one is this. Uh, this one was four euros. It is marked with a number on the bottom and I did some research and this one is by Ilkra Ceramics and I really, really like the shape. It's kind of unusual and I think it's pretty cool. And the second one kind of looks like its little brother. <laughs> pretty sure that this is not Ilkra. They also use a different color clay. If you can see that this is more of a bisque color and this is more of the kind of brown reddish clay. This one was three euros. I still have to do some research on it, on who made it. The numbers there are pretty much impossible to read. So I hope that I'm gonna find out the maker of this guy as well. I also found a couple of cool planters, starting off with this one first. So this one is marked with a number. I haven't had time to do research on it yet. Um, if I find out the maker, I'm gonna pop it up on here. But it looks like a little bit of a newer piece. I mean, it's still vintage, but it also says made in Germany and not made in West Germany. So I have a feeling that this one was probably made sometime in the 90s. It's not fat lava, but it has this matte glaze and it has those stylized lemons on it with leaves, which I feel like is pretty cool and uncommon. I've never seen this before. And this one was only one euro, which of course I had to get it for that price. And the second one is one of my most favorite types of planters and it's one of those head planters. And this one is just so cute. It's adorable. It's this girl with the eyelashes and the little um, pigtails and braids and everything in there and some flowers on here. I actually do collect these types, but only a very specific one that is blue and white. So this one I am gonna sell. I'm not sure yet if it's gonna go in my Etsy or booth, but yeah, I, I, I'm just in love with these types of planters. This one was only two euros. I also picked up a piece of art and this is not, and I'm gonna by the way tilt a little bit to the front because it is in, in glass. It's a um, watercolor, a floral watercolor, but I felt like this was so beautiful. And I love that it's on this kind of natural beige background instead of white. And it is marked and it's signed. It is signed R-E-L-L-N, R -E -L -L, and then the German U with the two dots, M. And it says original, or in German original, but original Gellum Aquarell, which means watercolor. But I kind of Googled it and I didn't find anything. So I'm <laughs> sure but I just felt like this was really beautiful this one is very likely gonna go into my booth I found this set of hand carved wooden elephants they were two euro each so I paid six euros for the whole set but I felt like they were worth it they're really well made and they're of a really really nice sturdy wood I will definitely still put some wood oil on them because I feel like that always makes all the difference but these ones are definitely gonna go into my booth I've also been doing well with those kind of carved pieces in there. Another item I picked up was this ceramic egg plate for only three euros. I feel like they've been doing well. I sold them in my booth and also online. They have really cool, nice chicken salt and pepper shakers and they're actually taped to the egg platter and I just took off the tape and then a bunch of salt came pouring out because apparently they just uh, didn't empty the shakers before they put them in the store and I've actually experienced that quite a few times already. So I definitely do have to clean those up. I like that this one is white and has also a bit of yellow elements around them as well as the little salt and pepper shakers. And I feel like this one would be absolutely perfect for just generally spring or Easter tablescapes. Next up is this amazing mid-century coat rack. This one was only five euros and it's missing this little knob, but um, it's still somewhere in my car. So I have to look under the seat, I feel like. I think it fell off and just kind of went rolling. So I do have to look for that. And five euros is a great price. I usually don't go through the furniture section, but I've been doing that a lot more to pick up some smalls because I do have a shelf that I sell at, at that kind of vintage store, but it's quite a big shelf, so I can fit some bigger items in there as well. So I feel like this one would also be a good pickup and that's why I got this. I actually picked up a really nice opaline glass vase, but when I came to the cash register, I saw that it has this little like chip so I put it back on the shelf and when I walked back to the shelves, I noticed some things I hadn't seen before and they caught my eye because of how well they were made. And I have four, I'm gonna show you the other two in a second, but I found these amazing glass sculptures and two of them still have the original sticker and uh, they say Mats Johansson, 
Sweden, I was like, Swedish. If it's Swedish and Scandinavian, it must be good. <laughs> Scandinavian stuff is always good. So I just picked these up on the whim. They were five euros each, and they are also signed on the bottom, which I didn't notice at the store. I just grabbed them really quickly because the lady was totaling up all my stuff. So I'm like, at these as well. <laughs> so I got this. Um, it's this bird. It's a, I think it's actually a stork. So it's a stork. And this um, little, it's like an otter or a ferret or something. And they are also numbered on the bottom. I mean, I looked them up and some of them are worth a lot of money. Mine are just like normal. I mean, they're still worth, some of them are like 60 euros, which is really, really still a good price for them. So I'm glad I picked them up. He has some really amazing sculptures. I hope I'm gonna come across them more in the future. I also have these two, which are exactly the same. Uh, they are two otters. And they were, well, also five euros because all of them were. And they're also signed and numbered. I am completely thrilled. This is one of the most stunning fat lava bowls I've ever seen. It's this bright 1970s orange and it has the fat lava here in the center. This one was six euros. Um, it is only numbered, but I did look it up. And after doing some research, I found out that this is by U um, Ceramics. So that is U Locker. And it is so beautiful, it's quite large. It's 30 centimeters in diameter and I feel like this would look amazing. <laughs> amazing on a table in somebody's house somewhere. If you like this video, make sure to check out these ones, this video and the playlist here on the side. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you do that as well because I post a new video about thrifting and second and finds every single week. Thank you guys so much for watching, I really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day, bye.